So good morning everyone. So by the way, I'm Christian Jones Fajardo and I'm here to discuss to you the my assigned topic which is the Hilbert axioms of betweenness. So um, my topic is about the axioms of Hilbert but uh, there are four types of axioms with which Hilbert has been that I will have to discuss this uh, that I will have to discuss to you so for, uh, first we have we have to to define the axiom of betweenness so here the axiom of betweenness it is a points on line are not related we assume that there is a ternary relation among points named as point point B is between point A and point C abbreviated as abbreviated as B is between A and C so here we have to uh, I have a line and point A point B and point C so here point A point B and point C so we have to this is called collinear because they are all in the same line so point B is uh, is between point A and point C so next is the um, th another definition so B is between A and C if ray BC intersects ray BA is equal to uh, point B when A uh, a point A and point B, uh, point A, B, and C are collinear. So, in symbols we can write it as A dash B dash C. So, like I've said earlier that there are line and uh, right here uh, line, uh, point A, point B, and point C. So, the point B is between A and C. So, that's all. It's so very easy. Next is given distinct collinear points A, B, and B, C, and D. We we use A, B, C, and D to denote the following to denote the following simultaneously relation of betweenness. So, so this is it. Uh, so there are four there are four um, that I I have researched. So based on my research, there are four. So B is between A and C, and B is between A and D, and C is between A and D, and lastly, C is between B and D. So, mon dili siya makita sa kuan sa upat ka points mo ni iyang mga kuan. So, so it is so easy. So, next is the uh, this is the first axiom in betweenness. So collinearity uh collinearity and symmetration so symmetration so if b is between a and c then a b and c are three distinct points all lying in the same line and b is between c and a so here uh uh right here i will show you so i uh, like uh mo to gaina para sa to gaina collinearity so they, uh, they, ha they are in the same line. So next is the axiom 2 which is extension. Between this axiom 2, extension. So given two distinct points B and D on a line L, there exists point uh, A, C, and E lying on a line L such that B is between A and D and C is between D and B and D is between uh, B is between B and E. So in this axiom number two, this axiom ensures that there are points between B and D and that and that the line BD does not end at either B or D. So, uh, uh, here in the first, balikon uh, ako sa first axiom, uh, it means that, uh, makes the obvious remark that between A and C means the same as between C and A. And it doesn't matter 
it doesn't matter guys whether A or, A or C is mentioned first. So, let's proceed to axiom number 3, which is uniqueness. So, let, let, uh, sorry, let A, B, and C be three distinct points on a line, then one and only, one and only one of the three points is between the other two. So, uh, uh, it means that this axiom ensures that a line is not circular. If the points were on a circle, you would then have to say that each is between the two or none is between the other two. So, the other, the second axiom ensures that such points as C exist. So, the ray AB is larger than the segment AB. So, it is so understandable. And so, we have here the definition one. Definition one. So, line, segment, and ray. And ray. The line determined by the two distinct points A and B is denoted as AB. Oh, na line dra, guys. So, let's proceed to... Uh, another is, we also use AB to denote Line AB to denote the set of all points incident with the line determined by points A and B. A segment with n points A and B denoted as this one AB. So AB is the set of points and AB a, and all points between A and B. A ray emanating from point A to another point B denoted as ray, uh, ray AB. So let's proceed to... and. Ray AB is the set of all points on AB and all points C such that A, uh, B is between A and C. An, op an open ray emanating from a point A to another point B is the set Ray AB equals to Ray AB and Ray A. So let's proceed. And this one is the axiom. Uh, it's definition 2, which is the same side and opposite side. So two points AB on not on a line L are said to be on the same side of L. If A equals B or the segment AB does not meet L, two points A and B not on a line L are said to be on opposite side of L if A, B does not meet, uh, meet L. So I have to discuss, uh, I have to explain it to you guys. So here, this one, this is the line L. So the line L and the point A and point B does not meet the the line L, so it is the same side as line L. So, and here the point C and point D is the opposite, which is they have met in the line L. So, it is very easy. So, next, this is the fourth and the last axiom in betweenness. So, Plane separation. Let A, B, and C be three distinct points not on a line L. So first is, if A, B are on the same side of L and B, C are on the same side of L, then A and C are the same side of L. So here, guys, uh, we, we can see that line uh, point A and B are on, uh, are, are on the same side and also B and C are on the same side of L. And so A and C are also the same side of L so it does not meet the line L so next is if a B are if a B are on opposite side of L and B C are on opposite side of L then AC are on the same side of L so here if if a B is the opposite opposite line of L and then BC is the line BC is the opposite sign of L so we conclude that A and C is the same side of L because it doesn't meet the line L. So A and B is the opposite and B and C is the opposite and, and A C is the same side of L. So um, that would be all and thank you for watching.